beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, Jehovah, Jireh, the great provider. He is the holy El Shaddai, the everlasting Adonai. He made the earth and sky. He is the Lord Most High. from the mire. We are His one desire. He is the one in whom we trust. He is the only one that's just. To all who build on this, He will be every promise. He is our Abba Father to every son. before him, the mighty Elohim. He is the light of men. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, Jehovah, Jireh, the great provider. Yahweh, Nekuma, Abba, Jehovah, Messiah, the everlasting God. Well, no school for you today, and no work for me either. Not till you're feeling better. But I did bring you a very special gift. A book? <laughs> yes, a book. When I was your age, television and iPads were called books. But this is no ordinary book. This is the very one that my dad used to read to me when I was sick. Is there unicorns in it? No, 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 no unicorns. But it's got a lot of really great stuff. There's a talking serpent, flaming swords, great sacrifice, true love, miracles. Doesn't sound too bad. I'll try and stay awake. Your vote of confidence is very overwhelming. All right, let's begin, huh? Okay, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Everything was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over it. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Let 
the birds of the air find rest in the trees. The fish rule the oceans, they travel the seas, and they live in the beauty and the power of the majesty. Let there be make mankind in our image children I will love without limits and when the darkness comes and when the clouds cover the sun I will make a way From the moment you open my eyes, from the moment you breathed in your life, we were meant to be together. We were meant to live forever. You showed me the garden, a peaceful seclusion. We walked together. was free. I would rule over everything except for the one tree. From the moment you opened my eyes, from the moment you made me to rise, out of the dust I came. I was born to trust your name, then you sang this refrain. It is not good to be alone. from your flesh, bone from your bone, a lifelong companion giving love and understanding. kissing book? Where's the exciting stuff? The talking snake? We just hold on. Let me read. The talking serpent is coming, but all good stories need a setup. From the moment you opened my eyes, from the moment you breathed in your life, we two became as one. We are your children. Well, hello there, kids. How are you doing? It looks like this garden is really improving. I really love what you've done with the place. So you're the beginning of the human race. You've been working so hard and always so dutiful. But let the weeds grow. Even weeds can be beautiful. Oh, me? I'm from a little in the center of the garden by the tree of knowledge. It's a great little tree with the most delicious fruit. It's my biggest seller at the farmer's market booth. So come on over and have yourself a look. Don't worry, it's not like it's going in a book. Oh no, you see, we mustn't go near that tree. It wasn't meant to be. You see, we agreed that we must stay away from the fruit of that tree. It's, it's been decreed. decreed. Any other tree, it's okay. Let's just say it's TBD. Take a bite, take a bite Then you'll know what's wrong and you'll know what's right Take a bite, take a bite Then you'll finally see the light, that's right Take a look with your eyes, take a smell with your nose Take a dip in the water, test it with your toes Take a listen to me, the one who really knows Just take a little bite, baby, here it goes Take a bite, take a bite 
From the moment I open my eyes, that's when I realize I felt shame in me. We were framed, he'll agree. She's to blame, not me. Ooh. Don't play that game with me. <laughs> all right, all right, my work here is done. Good luck, you too. Have fun in the sun. There's a place up the road that I want to see more of. A charming little town called Sodom and Gomorrah. You shouldn't have trusted me, though I can be quite charming. I'm good at disarming. You see, the truth is, the reason I'm so wise is because I happen to be the author of lies. Thank you so much for setting the table and putting things into motion. I'll be back for Cain and Abel, and then I'm going to help Noah with his ocean. You see, in all of the garden, I'm the most shrewd. And by the way, did you know you're nude? They were naked the whole time? Yes. And then what? Well, they made clothing out of fig leaves to cover themselves up. And God sent them out of the garden forever. And he guarded the entrance with an angel wielding a flaming sword. Yes, flaming swords. Sin and darkness had come into the world. And now God had to find a way to fix it to restore things and make things right again. How many pages are in this book? Uh, about a thousand. One thousand? Well, we're gonna skip a couple chapters. Sodom and Gomorrah, that sounded interesting. Uh, that's one of the stories we're probably gonna skip, yeah. Ah, I got it, Abraham. Now here's a story of promise and great sacrifice. You ready? My name was Abram, but he changed my name to Abraham when I was 99 years old. This is how the story goes. He hadn't said a word in 24 years. I started to wonder if God even hears me. He's hardly ever spoken. His promises remain unbroken He said that I would be a father of nations This great God had quite an imagination I'd never even had a son So I had to be creative to get things done I had a child, his name was Ishmael I had him with my servant that's just a small detail Now I had an heir and a son But apparently he wasn't the one He wasn't the promised one My wife Sarai had her name changed to Sarah And though we tried and tried We could never bear a child A hundred years young Isaac, it looked like He was the promise What the world was gonna change Forever The future's rearranged However Everything was going According to plan Until one day God He spoke to me again Go and take your only son As a sacrifice You'll offer him he be a sacrifice for sin. There's a problem going down on Mount Moriah. And it's also awesome that we'll never see the face of the Messiah. Yo, 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 it looks like you have always had his favor, but it seems like your faith is Trying to test you all this time, and he's trying to. Make
mess with you Finally a place where God and I agree Because lying and dishonesty, that's no specialty Abram, Abraham, tomato, tomato It doesn't really matter if it's potato or potato You're still the same man you've always been Born under the umbrella of man's great sin So go ahead and end it and stop this charade There's never gonna be an even And I will trust in the one and take my son, not my will, but yours be done. Perhaps I should stop now? No, you can read a little more if you want to. I don't mind. Are you sure? Because you look a little nervous. I wasn't nervous. Well, maybe a little bit concerned, but that's not the same thing. Because I can skip ahead if you want. No, no, continue. It's just that it doesn't make any sense. Why would God ask Abraham to murder his son? He promised to give him a son, and then he says kill him? That doesn't seem fair. Fair? Who said anything about fair? Where is that written? You know something? What are you doing? Here. This might help. It's about fairness. It's the story of a man named Job. away his sustenance. You think this man Job is the greatest in the human race. Take away what he has, and I'll bet he curses you to your face. And then a very day, a message came that all he owned was gone. But that was not the end of what went wrong. What happened next was even worse. It must have been the devil's curse. He took his children away. A storm came Objection, objection! You've been bragging about Job the Diplomat. That Job does this and Job does that. But why don't we go a little deeper? Let's probe and see where he's really at. Okay, I'll admit, he might be harder to crack than I thought at first. But take away a man's health and that might be the worst. Fine, I'll spare his life and I won't hurt his wife. Besides, I'll need her and his friends to share their advice a little later to cause some strife. And as his body fell, he was overcome with boils and pain. His suffering might just drive him insane. He tore his clothes and shaved his head. 
He even wished that he was dead. dead. So he refused to buy. He began to wonder why. But still, still he praised God. God. His friends came to try to explain the events that happened and all the reasons why. And even his wife came by, his only ally. And even she couldn't identify why his pain had seemed to intensify. And she said, Who am I to try to explain or justify? And I don't mean to imply that you're not a good guy. And I would Maybe there's lust in your no heart, heart unaddressed. Maybe your temper comes out when you're pressed. Maybe you care too much, too much how you're dressed. You only do good when you're blessed. Maybe you took his name in vain. You're feeling the pain. Is there any justice from this great God above? Is there any justice? Is this what he calls love? Can anyone adjust this? Shouldn't we discuss this? Show me what trust is. Explain to me your justice. This is a very depressing story, Dad. Yeah, but don't you feel better about being sick already? You need to go back. Wait, you want to read it again? I thought you said it was depressing. No, not this part. I don't want to read this part ever again. You didn't finish the story about Abraham. What happened? Did he kill Isaac? Well, I hate to give it away, but he didn't kill Isaac. Don't tell me. Just read it. Okay, all right. Um, here we go. Abraham reached out his hand and took his knife to slay him. Is there any justice from this great God above? Is there any justice? Is this what he called love? Stop!
good. A happy ending for someone, finally. <laughs> I think we should probably stop here for today. Wait, no, I want to finish it, please. Are you sure? I, I don't think we're going to get through it all. We'd have to skip a few parts. Well, give me the shorter version. Okay, let's give it a try. Then Moses raises his hand over the sea, and the Lord opened up a path through the water with a strong east wind. Here I am at the edge of the Red Sea, 600 chariots from Pharaoh behind me. Has he brought us here to die? Will we ever be free? Behold the Lord of hosts and his mighty hand. He will deliver us into the promised land. We'll have a brand new start. Let the waters part. Part. I've seen the Prince of Egypt. Tell me the parts that I don't know. Okay, um, well, we can probably skip Leviticus. I always get bogged down on that part. There's, uh, David and Goliath. Ow! Uh, there's, uh, Daniel in the lion's den. Hello? Hello? Uh, Song of Solomon, that's for when you're 18. Minor prophets, they're short. But you know what? Actually, let's skip to the end. Actually, right before the end, God's plan to restore mankind was to send his perfect only son to earth to make things right. Does he fight the talking serpent with the flaming sword? <laughs> Not exactly. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was the last song we heard. And the Word was God, all things were made through him. Nothing was made without him, he walked without sin. Jesus Christ the Son, the great Messiah has Blessed are you who 
I have come to follow you from far away. I have always honored God and kept His ways. I have followed all His laws that I've been taught. Now I believe that you're the one I've sought. What must I do to see heaven? What must I bring? I'll do anything. I would offer the finest ring. He just walked away? Some people were not willing to follow Jesus. But God sent him to make things right. Yes, and for every person who didn't follow Jesus, there were many more who did. Like Zacchaeus, a greedy tax collector that everybody hated. One day, when Jesus was teaching a crowd, Zacchaeus climbed up a tree to catch a glimpse of Jesus. Jesus noticed him and called out to him. Taste and see, 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 taste and see
taste and see Oh, how sweet the truth can be Love is whole, grace is free Come and see might be a lawsuit. Remember that part of the law? You wrote it. If you like, I can quote it. The law states that she should be stoned, or is this the kind of thing that you condone? I'll ask you one more time. Is this not a crime? Where do you draw the line? It's showtime! Take the rock, take the rock. I showed you what to do. We had a little talk talk. Take the rock, take the rock. It's time to make a move. We're never no fuck. Let he who has no sin Still the precious daughter that your father adores You are not defined by what you've done before I will not condemn you, I'll restore Go and sin no more From the moment he asked me to write from the moment I opened my eyes, I looked into his face. I only saw mercy and grace. We must be careful now, we cannot make it harder to kill him outright. Would just make him a martyr Let's be smarter Let the Romans do the deed They can be the ones To nail him to a tree Here we are back to the garden again Where the fall would happen Way back when Ain't nothing gonna cure this sin This is the beginning The chief priests and the elders of the people gathered together and plotted to arrest Jesus and kill him. Jesus knew that the time was near, so he withdrew to pray. But did he stop the talking serpent first? No, no, no. We'll get to that. Jesus knew that the time was near, so he withdrew to pray. Father's will. He'll 
came to arrest Jesus and try him for treason. Is there any justice? <laughs> You're learning. I don't like where this is headed.
just call it quits. died? God just let them kill him? I don't like this story at all. I thought you said he had a plan. Just a few more pages to go. Mm, I don't want to hear anymore. We're nearly there. The end is worth it, I promise. Nope, not listening. darkness comes When the clouds are rolling and cover the sun Why seek the living among the dead The Savior has risen just as he said What has been written is true I have come to make all things new. From the moment I open my eyes, I believe you from the moment that I finally realize no more shame and sin. I have been born again. The Lord said, My son, and look what's become. 
come of the promise he made. Salvation has come in the most amazing way. No, no, no. He was fully healed, fully alive. This is God's son, remember? What happened to the talking serpent? Uh, defeated. Everything that went wrong with that first bite of fruit was made right when Jesus came back from the dead. He stayed on earth for 40 more days and then ascended into heaven, where he's preparing a place for us when we die. Is that where mommy is? Yes, sweetie, it is. Okay, this is a pretty good story after all. <laughs> It's probably a pretty good place for us to stop for the night, too. You need some rest. I love you. Love you, too. for him. 